Omotola Jalet Ekendi, or Omo Sexy as her fans nickname her, is a popular Nigerian actress that has been appearing in films since 1995. I bet you some of you were not born by then. Well, if you're new to this channel, please kindly click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Then turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I drop new videos. I will really, really appreciate that. Thank you. The actress has also ventured into the music realm and previously modeled for big brands. While the Nollywood superstar gained fame with her work in the entertainment industry, she's also a renowned philanthropist with many humanitarians head of us to her name. Now let's talk about her early life and education. Omotola Jaled Ekendi was born as Omotola Jalade on the 7th February 1978 to Yoruba parents from Ondo states. She grew up in Lagos and was the first and as well as the only female child of her parents. Her two younger male siblings are Tayo and Bolaji Jalade. Her mother's name was Oluwatoni Jalade and she worked at JT Chanra, Nigeria, while her father Oluwashola Jalade worked at YMCA and the Lagos Country Club. Omotola Jalade had grown up in a financially stable family. She started early schooling at Chrisland School, Opebi, Lagos State. Then, she completed her primary school education at Oxford Children's School in 1987. When it was time for secondary school, Omotola Jalade attended Command Secondary School in Kaduna State, where she obtained her West African School Certificate in 1993. Not long after, she got admission into Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU, Ileife, Ocean State, but she did not graduate from the school. Instead, Omotola Jalade returned to Lagos and got admission into Yaba College of Technology in 1996. Then, she graduated with a first degree in estate management in 2004. This was after she had made a name in the Nollywood industry, married and had children. The superstar who had dreams of pursuing a career in business management did some modeling stunts very early when she was just 17 years old, before she ventured into Nollywood. Omotola made a debut in Reginald Eberes' film titled Venom of Justice, released in 1995. The actress had not planned on having an acting career. She once stated in an interview that she had escorted a friend to an audition. While there, the talent aunt asked her to audition, which she nailed and was offered the leading role. Not long after, Omotola landed another major role in the same year when she got the lead role in the highly acclaimed 1995 film titled Mortar Inheritance. Zeb Ejiro produced the film, which was directed by Andy Amenechi. The film is regarded as one of the finest films from Nollywood. In 1997, she won two awards at the 1997 The Movies Award for her role in Mortar Inheritance. She was 19 at that time and became the youngest Nigerian actress to achieve that feat. After this big early start, the young actress became one of the most sought after actresses in Hollywood at that time. She started featuring in many films from late 1997 onwards. Some of the most popular of these early films include Scores to Setu, Lost Kingdom, and Kurosogun. By the early 2000s, Omotola Jalade Ekende was already regarded as an A-list actress. Her name was mentioned in conversations about the biggest Nollywood stars. She and Genevieve Nanji acted as sisters in the popular Nollywood film Blood Sisters. This film further added to Omotola's popularity. Well, she's a fabulous actress. You can see that in the comment section. She and a host of other few stars became the face of the film industry. She appeared in about 20 films per year between 2003 and 2005 and was reported to be a high henna as well. Not surprising, she was among those named in the Nollywood G8 band controversy. In 2005, the actress released her first music project which was an album titled GBA. GBA by Omotola Jalede Ekende contains 10 tracks and was produced by OJB Jizri. Artists such as Rugged Man, Pastor Goody, Goody, 
6O and Rhymezo de Gusto featured on some tracks on the album. Also, in 2014, she released a single titled Barren Land and was featured on the remix of Strong Girl in 2015. Many music experts agree that Omotola Jalet Akende did not succeed in the music industry. However, one thing that remains most commendable is the fact that she tried her hand at it. At least it's worth a try and she did her best. Since making her official Hollywood debut in 1995 and appearing in over 300 films, Omotola Jalet Akende is still very active in the acting industry, although she took a hiatus between 2014 and 2017. In 2012, Omotola Jalad Akendi launched a reality show called Omotola The Real Me. The show aired on African Magic Entertainment, but casting on DSTV. She aimed to use the show as a platform where her audience can follow up with the latest happenings in her career, business interests, family life, and more. Well, I think it's just like into uh, the Kardashians. The actress completed the first season of her reality show in 2016, according to a Post article. It seems she had discontinued the show after its maiden season, as we found no information concerning the second season. Now let's take a look at her personal life, her marriage life, her children and the rest. Amatola Jalade and Captain Matthew Ekende got married in 1996. However, the couple held their white wedding ceremony in 2001 aboard an aeroplane with their family and friends present. She had her first child in 1997, shortly after they got married. Together, the couple has four children. Omotola lost her father in a tragic car accident when she was 12 years old in 1990, and her widowed mother subsequently raised her and her younger siblings. Her mother died in 2001, according to a eulogy. She wrote in her honor on Mother's Day in 2017. Let's take a look at Annette Woods. The actress, who is also known as Omosexy, is regarded as one of the richest actresses in the whole of Africa. Her appearance in films is richly rewarded with huge sums of money. To put this into perspective, a blog says that Omotola Jalede Ekende is worth 650 million naira. Meanwhile, legit.ng estimates her net worth to be $3 million, that is 1.3 billion naira. Besides any money from films, Omotola is also a brand ambassador to Scamfrost, a leading home appliances brand name in Nigeria. She was also an ambassador for No, a major stock cube brand. A Pinterest post also mentions that the actress has an endorsement deal with Nigeria Liquidified Petroleum Gas Association (NLPGA). These deals with such big companies likely place her in top rankings of the wealthiest Nigerian celebrity. Now let's take a look at some of our awards and recognitions. In 2019, December, Omosula was awarded an honorary doctorate degree by the Ibenedio University of Kada State. In 2018, Omosula was appointed a voting member of Academy Awards for 2018 Oscars. In 2014, the Nigerian government honored her as a member of the Order of the Federal Republic for her contributions to Nigerian cinema. In 2013, Oba Victor Kiladejo, the Royal King of Ondo Kingdom, conferred Omotola Jalede Ekende with a chieftaincy title in Ondo State. Time magazine listed her among its famous Time 100 list of most influential people in the world in 2013. Okay, Nigerian magazine gave her a column titled Omotola Diary, where she pens her thoughts and what she was experiencing daily. Omotola Jalade Ekende is likely the first name on people's lips when they want to talk about the most popular Nollywood actress. Her popularity stretches across 25 years of acting. She's also actively engaged in philanthropic activities. Omotola is also recognized beyond the borders of Nigeria, getting her mentioned in the same breath as Beyonce and Michelle Obama. The actress, who is a mother of four, is also enjoying family life. A relative failure in the music world can also serve as a lesson that succeeding in one aspect does not mean you will automatically be successful in all fields and works of life. Although, she has come back to see that she wants to go back into music. Well, we hope for the best to come. And also, this will mark the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and comment the name of the celebrity you want us to talk about in the comment section below and I will do just that. 
thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe stay well stay safe peace out